Hello everybody, we're right here at our location where we have planted some 700 plus acres of soybeans as you can see over here and uh, right over to the right here we actually have planted our hemp for the 2021 growing season. So uh, everything has gone quite well, we've updated you in August in regards to at the beginning of August actually of this month we've done a field day with our hemp crop but uh, I want to show you actually some of the other crop that we've been growing here and some of the other crop that we will be doing in 2022 because uh, we will actually be leasing some 200 plus acres of alfalfa uh, that we've helped establish uh, but um, we're going to start uh, baling and producing alfalfa along with hemp as well as soybeans and corn uh, coming 2022. So uh, I want to just show you what's going on and uh, just uh, give you a little bit of a tour. So let's get started. So we're right here in two different fields that we haven't shown before. They're approximately uh, 200 acres combined. What we have planted right here in soybeans this year, uh, they're very good. They're very nice, tall, bushy. They seem to have uh, good pod uh, growth on the soybeans themselves. If you, if you take a closer look right here, let's take a look. You can tell that we've got quite the pods on the soybeans right here. So uh, that in itself is really what is quite nice. So we're very pleased with uh, what we've produced so far and how the growth has come along with the soybeans in 2021. And uh, right here, as you can see right across from me actually, we've got even a bigger uh, stand and uh, taller beans, even though they're identical to the ones right behind me right here. So uh, the bean variety is the same. So uh, I think we really did quite well with fertilization uh, as well as tillage and planting depth. Even though we had a actually harder year at the beginning, it was actually fairly wet. And then it turned out right now we're actually extremely dry, I would say. So uh, I, really overall though, uh, that variety and the soybeans that we chose have turned out nicely. So right now we're gonna take a little drive through the field. So that was the same field that a minute ago we uh, just took a closer look at the plants and at the varieties. So we're just going to drive along down this lane, turn around, come back up. That's what we're doing. I mean all we need right now is really uh, some good precipitation, not no downpours of rain, but we need some good uh, uh, long uh, days at least uh, of rain uh, once a week twice a week that will be great because wherever we have right now sandy spots is uh, where we have uh, really a lower stand and uh, not so bushy and shorter beans and the yield is going to be substantially impacted due to the dry weather conditions that we're impact that we're seeing right now here in in Ohio actually so uh, yeah 